So guys, welcome back to another video. In this one today, we're going to be talking about the 94 rated team of the season, Lacazette. Now this guy cost me just over 1.4 million coins and I am expecting good things from this card. I've already had a quick look at the in-game attributes for it and um, I think it's fair to say that some of them are very, very impressive. We're going to be using this Lacazette up top with the prime icon moments on Re, and it has to be said, those two look really good together up top. Anyway, before we get into this player review, I do want to hear from you guys. Firstly, in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this Lacazette item. Secondly, let me know which Premier League Team of the Season cards you have used so far. And finally, also let me know which other Premier League blue cards you want to see me do a video on. Drop a like rating on the video if you enjoy this kind of content and be sure to subscribe if you're new around here. Okay, so let's have a look at this card's in-game stats. Like I alluded to earlier, some of them are pretty impressive. Um, in the shooting section, we can see this guy has a couple of 99 ratings. This Lacazette has the maximum rating for both attack positioning and finishing. He's also got decent shot power of 94. Passing wise, he's got a really good short passing of 96, but um, pretty average long passing of 71. In the dribbling department, this card boasts a 96 rating for agility, reactions, composure, and in-game dribbling. Uh, physically, Lacazette's got pretty good strength of 88 and uh, pretty good stamina of 93. One more thing worth mentioning from this page is the fact that this guy has a high jumping rating of 93 and um, a 99 rating for his uh, heading accuracy. Anyway, we're not just here to focus on the numbers, we're here to find out if this card performs well in game. So let's get into some live matches and let's see how this 94 rated Lacazette does in foot champs. Okay, so for the debut of Team of the Season Lacazette, this is what we're up against. It is a full Premier League special side that features a Player of the Month Fardy, two foot birthday players in Willian and Carl Walker, and also a couple of Scream items, which are pretty interesting because I know for a fact that that Ampadu and that Tyron Mings don't have good defensive stats, so hopefully we can uh, take full advantage of that. They're both very quick, but like I said, the defensive stats aren't great. We'll boot this upfield, hopefully Lacazette can win the header here, he should do, he does, nice. He's not pushing forward as much as I'd like if I'm honest. Henri plays it out wide to Lacazette for what will surely be the final attack of the first half. Trying to get back inside, constantly being pushed and pulled, goes for the finesse shot, oh! Wasn't a bad effort but fortunately it's gone wide. Um, not a great first half, if I'm honest. Um, as you can tell by the lack of clips, not too much happened. Hopefully in the second half, we can uh, have more of an impact with Lacazette. Um, so, we're going to bring on Balak and we're going to switch to the 4-2-3-1 formation with Lacazette as a sole striker. Right, balls into the box. Can Lacazette be the first to it? He can! Hits it with his left foot and he scores a great volley. That's a very good equaliser from the number 9. Ball's whipped in at the front post. He's not marked too well, but um, he's still done really well under pressure to uh, put the ball right in the roof of the net. Lacazette and Henri linking up again. Lacazette and Henri linking up very nicely. Lacazette goes for the shot, and he scores! And just like that, we've turned the game around. Two goals in quick succession for Lacazette. And we now lead. Henri slides it through, and here is Lacazette with a chance to cross now. Whips it in. Unfortunately, Alisson clears that one. Thierry Henri. Down the right side, comes inside to Lacazette, who plays it onto Mkhitaryan, who puts it back inside, and Lacazette scores a great team goal. And we're back ahead with 10 minutes to go. Lacazette also completes his hat-trick after that move. Wait, what? Am I about to get a red card? Did you see that? Nothing happened. I pressed nothing. What? That's one of the most insane second yellows I've ever seen. And there is the full-time whistle. We get the 3-2 win despite going a man down towards the end of the game. I still cannot believe I got that red card. Nonetheless, a hat-trick on debut for Lacazette. The first half, there wasn't really too much to see. That's why there wasn't too many first-half clips. But the second half was all action. Anyway, that's it for game number one. Let's now get in to game number two. Okay, so for our next game, this is what we're up against. In my opposition's team, there is a Team of the Season Onana, a Team of the Season Tagliafico, and the brand new flashback Roberto Firmino is up front as well. So, uh, pretty decent side for my opposition. Nothing too insane, but it does feature a couple of very good players that we are going to have to watch out for. Oh, he knows I'm going front post. All about that front post. Lacazette! Oh. 
Ramsey finds Lacazette, who beats his man. Goes for the finesse. Oh, that's a great finish. That's a great finish. That's a great goal all round. The way he chipped the ball over the defender to uh, get past him and then the finesse into the back of the net. So the halftime whistle has just gone. We go in at the break with a 2-0 lead. And um, we've been pretty dominant in this game. So I'm pretty happy to have the uh, two-goal cushion. In the second half, we will, of course, be switching two of the 4 2 3 one formation. And uh, like I keep saying, Lacazette will go up top by himself. Okay, here we go. Chance to break now. Ibra gets the ball to Lacazette, who does really well to just, you know, spin round Van Dijk. Ibra gives it back to Lacazette, who's got a chance now. We're going to try and get inside. We do so successfully pass Warren. Lacazette with the shot, and he scored. That's a great solo goal. Beating Van Dijk, not once, but twice with the dribble. And then finessing the ball into the back of the net. Like I said, great solo goal. Here's Nedved. Lacazette links up with Ibrahimovic. Ibra slides the ball through. Lacker will get on the end of that one too. I'm going to try and pull it back. Try and still open an opportunity, but fortunately we can't do so. Do get a corner though, which hopefully we will profit off. Lacazette is found in space. Goes for the... Oh, wow. Wow. As if that's gone in. <laughs> what an insane goal to score. Like the goalkeeper definitely should have done better, but uh, nonetheless, I'll take it. That's a great goal. He just flicked the ball up and then like bicycle kicked it and the keeper's just positioned all wrong. And the ball's gone in the back of the net. Henri slides the ball through for Lacazette. Lacazette, can he get round Delict and Van Dijk? He kind of can, but the referee's pulled it back for a foul. Why, why would it not let me play on there? I could have been through. The advantage rule really needs looking at in this game. And there is the full-time whistle. The game ends um, in a 4-1 scoreline. And Lacazette, once again, picks up the match ball. Um, brilliant game from Lacazette in that game, to be honest. I thought he was absolutely brilliant in front of goal. His finishing inside the box is just great. Like, it really is. Anyway, that is the live games now complete. I'm going to go play a couple more games with this Lacazette card just to get a bit of a better opinion on him. Um, but that's the gameplay done for you guys. I'll see you in a second on the summary page. Okay, so after playing with this guy a bit more, how did I find him? Well, I've got one word to describe Team the Season Lacazette, and that is finisher. This guy, if given a chance, will more than likely take it. I was really impressed with um, this card's goal scoring ability, and we'll discuss more about this guy's shooting in a moment. But first, let's, uh, let's have a quick chat about his pace. As you can imagine, I did find this guy to be pretty quick. And uh, in-game, he will break away from defenders if given enough space. Um, on the ball, I thought this card was really freaking good. This card's dribbling is very impressive. This guy is agile, and you'll have seen in the clips how well this card controls the ball when dribbling around opposition players. Even when under pressure, this card controls the ball really well. And even when he's been pushed and pulled when he has the ball, because of his strength and balance combination, he isn't easily dispossessed of the ball. Uh, positionally though, I did find this card to be a bit inconsistent, um, which was frustrating to be honest because this guy does have 99 attack positioning and high medium work rates, but in game at times it felt like he had medium medium work rates because he didn't always seem to want to push forward, which as you can imagine was a bit annoying. Um, and it was annoying because when you get this guy in space, he is deadly, he's really good in front of goal. And that brings us on to this guy shooting. Now in front of goal, team the season Lacazette is brilliant. Inside the box, this guy's finishing is immense. It's top class. If given space inside the box, 99% of the time, the ball is going to end up in the back of the net if Lacazette is shooting. His general finishing is brilliant and his power shots are really effective too. This guy can score from distance, but his long shots aren't amazing. This guy is definitely more of a threat in and around the box than he is from further out. I thought this guy's passing for a striker was good. His through balls are pretty average, but his short passing was great. And that made it easy to use this guy. Just quick one-two passes with his striker partner and their chances and space tended to open up. This guy's crossing was uh, also pretty average, so I wouldn't advise using this guy in a wide role if you intend to cross a lot. I thought this guy's stamina held up really well and he never seemed too tired for me. Um, despite having 93 jumping and 99 heading accuracy, this guy isn't going to seem too effective aerially unless you come up against someone with a tiny defence. Lacazette may have really good jumping and really good heading accuracy, but he's only 5'9", 
tall elite defenders will dominate this guy when it comes to aerial duels. So unless you get this guy um, up against a pretty average fullback, he's probably not going to win too many headers. I'm not saying he won't win aerial duels, but against like elite defenders, he just really isn't going to stand too much of a chance. Um, overall though, I thought this card was great. Yes, this card does have a couple of minor negatives, but it also has many major positives. So, with all that being said, do I think this card is worth getting? Well, if you feel like your team needs a finisher, then yeah, this Lacazette card probably is worth trying out. But if you want a more complete forward up front, there are better alternatives in my opinion. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the 94 rated team of the season Lacazette item. Um, if you found this video useful or you just enjoyed it in general, please do remember to leave a like rating on it in the comments below. Um, feel free to ask any questions you have about this card and also let me know which other team of the season players you want me to review. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.